Welcome back, my fighter friend. Today is the day that we're gonna combine both our punches and our kicking. But before we get started, we need to make sure that you're nice and warm and ready to go. Let's begin with some ankle rolls, okay? So let's go inward. Just big circles here. Trust me, you definitely don't wanna roll those ankles. And then we're gonna go to the opposite direction. We're gonna build it up, don't you worry. I know it's boring sometimes to do our warm up, but trust me, in order to prevent injury, it's gotta be done. And then we're gonna go to the other side. Now we're gonna take it up to a little bit more of a full body move here. Let's do some torso rotations. Also engaging our heels. Notice how I'm rotating as I go. All right, now I want you to go ahead and extend your arm as you're trying to reach through all the way across. Make sure you're focusing on your breathing. Let's go for it. three, two, one. Meet me in the center and let's start rolling those shoulders forward. Big circles, keep those elbows close to the waist, and then we're gonna pull them back. Now when you go back, think about squeezing your shoulder blades there. That's it, let's go here for four, three, two, and one. Now let's bring those palms out, palms up towards the ceiling. I want a triple pulse, and then bring your arms all the way forward. So one, two, three, big hug. One, two, three, big hug. Couple times here. Hope you're getting ready to sweat your booty up. We're gonna start swinging our arms upward in three, two, and swing it up in a big push down. I want you to keep your arms loose. Try to come up to your tippy toes. That way we're also getting some calf raises here. Let's go for three, whoop, two, and sit that booty down. We're gonna take care of your spine now. So keep the butt back, left hand inside of the left knee. Open up and bring it down. There's a lot of rotational movements going on during kickboxing, so we gotta make sure our spine is ready to go. And we're gonna switch it over. <sighs> Don't let your knees fall in the center. I know it's tough so you can't see, but do your best to keep your hips super stable. Let's go for two more. Last one here. And now we're gonna do a triple tap down the center. So lengthen your legs out a little bit more. We're gonna go once in the front, once in the center, once in the back, Exhale at the top. Again, one, two, three. You should feel a decent stretch in those hamstrings. You can gently bend your knees if you feel a little tighter. But the more you open those legs, the easier it is to reach to the floor. One more time here, my friend. And now let's hold it up at the top. Give me a giant X. Right hand's gonna reach over for the left toe. Back to center, and then the other side. Warm up is very important, so I know it can be boring, but cannot skip it. One more time here. And now let's take care of those legs. A little more dynamic here. We're gonna kick the legs up. I want you to think about squeezing your abs like a, like a little crunch here. That's it, let's get here for three, two, one. Now we're gonna lean slightly forward, put your hands on your hips, keep your legs straight, and heel pointed towards the ceiling. And you're gonna start activating those glutes a little bit more. Let's get it here for four, three, keep your balance, two, and one. Now I'm gonna face you again. Let's start with some reverse lunges. Try to make sure that you keep the chest up and that your front knee doesn't pass your toe. Very important. Now from the lunges, you're gonna take it over to body weighted squats. Hope you're starting to feel a little bit warmer. On three, on two, and let's get it. Up and down. Once again, chest is proud. Elbows are open wide. Ooh, making sure we're breathing. Let's get here for two. Hold the squat for one. And bam. Let's open up those feet wider. Wiggle, wiggle side to side. Put those elbows under the knees. And you're going to use that as leverage to push your knees back and forth. That's it. Now, I'm going to face this way so you can see me. We're going to go out into a cobra. Press the pelvis down, inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Hitting a little movement through the body. Give me one more time, ready? Child's pose. Shoot out to cobra. Now from cobra, downward dog. Push that butt up. Bring that right foot forward. Big pulses here. We're gonna switch it out again. Right foot goes back, left foot goes forward. Couple times. Let's switch one more time. And one more time on the other side. Hoop. All right, now let's go ahead and hold our downward dog this time. Pedal your feet up and down. 
Woo. Nice when we start picking up that cardio. Walk those hands in. Roll your way to stance. Let's do a couple jumping jacks here. Just to get our heart rate going. Letting our body know that things are about to get a little serious. There we go. Butt kickers, bring your heels up. You feel a decent little stretch here in the quads. Lean forward, get a little higher. And now one of my favorites, the jump rope. There we go, feet together. Make sure you're pointing those toes, getting those calves. We're gonna put our gloves on in three, two, and one. All right, my fighter friend, let's get ours going. I hope you're wrapping up though. Very important, gotta keep those knuckles and wrists protected. All right, so last video, we focused more on our kicks only. So today we get to combine them with our punches. It's gonna be really fun. I got some combos that are gonna get your heart rate up, but are pretty doable, okay? So let's begin. Left foot forward, right foot back. Now what I want you to know is that what we do on one side, we're gonna do it again on the other side too, okay? So stay with me. Put the left foot forward, right foot back. Fighter stands, hands are up at the temple. Now we're gonna start with a double jab on the left. So remember, your jab is left, two, and your cross is right. One, two. So I want double jab. That's gonna be for speed. And then the cross is gonna be for power. Bam, bam. So I want you to dig those hands just a little bit deeper in there. So double jab into your double cross. Bam, bam. Again, double jab into double cross. Now speed left, power right. Notice that I'm reloading. Speed left, power right. Let's go a couple times here. Feet always moving with the punches. That's it. One more time. Bam, 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 bam. Now we're gonna add on. I want you to add four uppercuts. Gotta start with your left hand, okay? So after that cross, come in with a left, right, left, right uppercut. So double jab, double cross, left, right, left, right. Reset, double jab, double cross, left, right, left, right. Now let's get the rhythm of our punches first. And then we're gonna add our kick. Hum, 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 hum. One more time, double jab, double cross, left, right, left, right, uppercut, and pause, okay. So this is when we're gonna add that right front kick. Now because we're pretty close to our target due to our uppercuts, what I want you to do is take a step back. So in other words, slide your way back, keep your left foot forward, and you're just gonna create some distance here with that left arm. Now we're gonna bring that right knee up towards the belly, like we did for the chamber, if you remember. Knee comes up, ball of the foot is exposed, and we're gonna go right through the bag, just like that, guys. So let's go ahead and bring it back into center, my fighter. Double jab, double cross, one, two, four uppercuts, one, two, three, four. Slide, bring your chamber up, and reset the stance. We're gonna go here for about a minute, okay? Stay with me and don't give up. Double jab, cross, cross, one, two, three, four. Slide back, front kick. Good. It's very hard to keep those hands up, especially during the kicks. So do your best to remind yourself to keep that defense up. Very important. Slide. And so. Slide front kick. Again. That's it. A couple seconds more. One more time. Slide. Run kick. Okay, jumping jacks. A little active rest here. Now for about 30 seconds, we're gonna do tap crosses for speed. And then we're gonna do front kicks for speed. All right, so get your head in the game. We're gonna go into those 30 seconds. In five, four, Three, two, one. So 10 second jab cross. Try to make sure that you're keeping the shoulders light and you're align the core to really squeeze as hard as you can to extend those arms out. That's it, stay with me for three, two, one. Now let's start our front kicks, take it back, hands up. Four, three, two, one. Back in jab cross, go. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Front kicks, hands up, slide back, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Oh, breathe. Okay, with that being said, we did it on the left. Got to do it on the right. So let's put that right foot forward. We're going to start with a double right jab. Now the jab is speed, right? One, two. Cross is now power. One, two. Notice that pivot of the heel in the back. Double jab, double cross. Double jab, double cross. Let's go a couple seconds here. All right, let's add the four uppercuts. This time you gotta start with the right hand. Right, left, right, left, okay? So, double jab, double cross. One, two, three, four, reset. Jab, double cross. Bam, 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 bam. You'll find that kickboxing is almost like dancing. Gotta follow the steps. Ha, 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 ha. Double jab, double cross. Ha, 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 ha. Now, one more time. Hep, 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 hep. Pause. You finish on that left uppercut. We're gonna build the distance. You slide back. Now remember that left knee comes up all the way to the chamber, right? Whoa. And then throw the front kick with the ball of your foot. We got one minute here. Stay with me. I know it's tough, baby. I'm with you. Ready? On three. On two. This is me procrastinating. All right, go, go, go. Double cross. Pam, 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 pam. Slide. Front kick. That's it. Double jab. Double cross. Good. Got to stay in the zone. Slide. You're gonna slow down. You're bound to slow down. It's gonna happen. The goal is to simply keep moving, no matter how hard it feels. Slide back one more time, one more time. Slide, jumping jacks. Ooh, that was tough. Breathe. All right, remember we got those 10 second jab crosses into our 10 second front kicks. I'm dying. All right, ready? Feet about hip width apart. Jab cross for speed for 10. I'm gonna count it out, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slide back, front kick. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back in, go. Nine, Woo. eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, front kicks again, go. Oh man, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, take a breather, man, because I know you need it. Woo. All right, my fighters, check it out. We gotta move on. Now instead of the front kick, we're gonna get into the side kick. Now let me show you my combo here. Put that left foot forward again. Keep that right foot back. This time I want you to start with a right cross. So we're gonna go straight, right cross. You're gonna come in with a left hook, bam. And I want you to do another cross, bam. All right, so it's gonna be three punches in total. Right cross, left hook, right cross again. We're gonna add on in just a little bit, okay? So let's go. Cross, hook, cross, and reset. Cross, hook, cross, and reset. Notice my footwork. The more you feet, move your feet, the better control you're gonna have of those punches. The less you put on the shoulder. Make sure you're moving those hips, squeezing those abs, and breathe. Okay, we're gonna add on from the cross our cross. We're gonna do one more double jab into one more cross, okay? I know. So, right cross, left hook, right cross. Double jab, right cross. We're gonna your set. Then we're gonna add the side kick, okay? So let's start with the combo. Cross, hook, cross, double jab, cross, reset. Cross, hook, cross, double jab, cross. One more time. Cross, hook, cross, double jab, cross, and break. Now after our cross, what I want you to do is pull your cross back in. You're gonna do that little rotation here. Now this is when our left chamber starts to come back inside because we're gonna do a left side kick. 
So left chamber, left knee comes up into the belly button. Now notice that I'm looking at where I'm going. My toes are pointing down. My heel is getting ready to drive out into that bag, okay? So let's do this from the top. We got that cross to cross, double jab cross. As I pull the cross back, knee comes into the belly button, toes are down, heel steps out. We reset, face our target. All right, let's go here for about one minute. And side kick, reset. Bam. That's it. Going, keep going. Now keep in mind, if you're doing your chamber out this way, it's gonna feel really awkward. You've gotta make sure that your knee goes all the way in this way, not out that way. Go into the chamber, okay? One more time here, go. Double jab, cross, pull in and out to the side. All right, shake it off my friend, shake it off. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let me fix my bag here. All right, now for this one. We're gonna do crosses, about four crosses into one side kick. So put that left foot forward, that right foot goes back. Ready, hands are up, four crosses on the right. One, two, three, four, into one side kick, reset. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hup. One, two, three, four. And bam. All right. All right, my fighter now. Shake it off, shake it off. I know you're dying. I'm right there with you. But listen, we gotta do this on the other side. So let's go ahead and put that right foot forward. Keep your left foot back. Now that you switch your stance, you're gonna start with the left cross. So left cross goes straight, yeah? We're gonna come in with that right hook. Left cross again. We're gonna do the full combo. So add your double right jab and finish with that left cross. So again, reset, cross, hook, cross, double jab, cross, reset. Cross, hook, cross, double jab, cross, reset. Okay, now this is the time to add the side kick. You're doing it on the right side, so check it out. Got the cross, hook, cross, double jab, cross. Now begin to rotate that left cross into the temple. You're gonna begin to bring that right knee into the belly button, and the heel is pointing up as the toes point down. All right, your distance is gonna vary, so find the distance that is best for you here. I like to measure with my hand to get a proper distance. Okay, so again, cross across, double jab cross, bring it in, into the side kick, reset. Let's try this out for one minute, okay? One more, come on. And breathe. Shake it off. Okay. Whew. So now we're gonna do our power cross into the right side kick, okay? So keep that right foot forward, keep that left foot back. You can tell I'm freaking dying, right? I hope so, dude. Because this is raw and real. All right. Left cross goes first for four. One right side kick, okay? Hands up. One, two, three. Four, bring the knee in, side kick again. Ah. 
and breathe. Ooh, man, I'm dying with you, my friend, so don't you worry. Now that we've cut on with our breath, we got one more kick to add on. Now, the cool thing is, is that the boxing combo is pretty short. So all we got to focus on is the technique of the kick itself. My favorite, the roundhouse. Okay, so left foot is forward, right foot is back again, my friend. We're going to start with a jab, bam. A right cross, bam. We're going to finish it with a left hook, bam. Now, so we bring in the right hook, the right round kick. We got to make sure that we set the foot. If you remember from the last video, you got to open up that foot. Give yourself a window to rotate with your body. Now we're going to pick up that right chamber. So the right knee is going to start coming up. Now remember that the knee has to be lower than the ankle, yeah? So we're here. The shin is facing the bag. Okay, so let's try this again. Jab, cross, hook. Take a big step with the left foot towards the opposite way. And we're going to come in. Right round kick. Let's reset the stance. We're going to be here for about a minute. Shake it off. Take your time. Three punches, one kick. Step, hut, reset. Hut, hut, Shake it off, shake it off. That was fun, right? I love the roundhouse. Probably the least hated of all. <laughs> now, we're gonna do a next little drill here. We're gonna do some power hooks into some alternating round kicks. Talk about a heart raiser. Okay, so feet hip width apart with your hooks. Make sure that the elbow is slightly higher than the, than the wrist itself. You don't wanna come in with low elbows. Totally messes up the form of your hook. All right, so elbow comes down, up like a little chicken wing. We're gonna rotate in with our hip. Make sure the knuckles, the top two knuckles are touching that bag. We're gonna do 10 hooks into two 10 round kicks. All right, three sets. On three, Woo. on two, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reset, fix your gloves if you have to. And round kicks, ready? Feet hip width apart. Open the foot to the other side. Land it. Open the foot. Round kick. So you gotta twist, okay? 10 kicks. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hooks, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reset. Time for kicks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Last one. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. My gloves can't handle me. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ho! Oh. Breathe, my friend. You're hyperventilating as much as I am. That means we're putting in the work. Let's put that right foot forward. That left foot back. It's the last time on the bag, my friend. We got this, yeah? Starting with that right jab. Left cross. Right hook. Now remember, we're going to open the right foot out of the way. We're going to come in with our left round house. And reset the stance. Take a little pause between your combo. Break out. On three. On two, I'm procrastinating. All right, go, go, go. One, two, three. Hut. <laughs> One more. <laughs> oh. Okay. Are you ready for the power hooks and the alternating roundhouses? Every time I fix my bag, I'm actually 
trying to cool down. Okay, here we go. Heat up with a part. Let's start with your hooks. On three. On two. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cover your face. Seven, eight, nine. Back in, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Last kicks, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Oh my god. I don't even have any words right now. I'm literally dead. My friend, you have completed your full kickboxing workout. Whew. Stay tuned for more. Let's cool down. You deserve to take your gloves off. Hands must be feeling pretty sweaty here. Alright, so go ahead and hinge. Allow yourself to drop down. Grab onto your elbows. Oh man. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. We're gonna drop into that squat. Three, two, one. Drop into the squat. We're right here back in that butterfly stretch. Now what I want you to do for me is take a seat down. Whew. Maybe in like a little crisscross. Apple sausage position. Left hand on the floor, right arm up and over. Exhale once you come back to center. And then inhale. A couple times here, my friend. Releasing the spine. Regulating our breathing. We're going to get into the chest. Stay in the center, interlace your fingers behind you. You're gonna pull towards the floor. And then as you're pulling your shoulders, I want you to pull your neck away. Back to center. Back to center. Give yourself a big hug. One arm across the chest. Hold it in, not too much. Just enough to stretch the shoulder. Open up. Well, my friend, you did it. You got a good movement here. You got some good sweat going on there. I hope to meet you again next time. So remember, everything becomes better with consistency.